Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pathfinder playtest by Rollmongers Network. We are not playing Doomsday Dawn, I keep telling you. Stop looking for it, you won't find it here. I refuse to try to pit our merry band against the Glass Cannon podcast and all their stuff because they do great stuff. You want Doomsday's Do Doomsday Dawn? Check out their videos. You want something different because everybody's doing Doomsday Dawn? Check us out, Pathfinder Playtest. We are doing the Pathfinder Society adventure called Ark Lord's Envy, set in the mighty kingdom of Nex. Look him up. He was famous. Did some whack stuff with magic. In the capital city of Quantium, much like a Forgotten Realms Waterdeep, you know, racism, bad, you know, mercantile and wizards rule, good. And it's set at fifth level. You don't have to start at first level. We are fumbling, especially myself, I must apologize, through the rules but we're having a good time. We are mid-battle. We are episodes upon episodes in to this battle. And it's still going. And we're at the top of round five, gentlemen. Round five. I draw your attention to the video screen because yes, there's still podcast element, but we are trying to try our hand at sort of a tactical video. Such a lovely map. It is. It is really is a nice map. Round five, Master Arif is up. Marisil, you're on deck. Master F, what do you do? Oh, man. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm still on fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's always a good place to start. For a week now. <laughs> yeah. He's been on fire the entire week. <laughs> but it's a, slow, it's a slow burn. Yeah. So it's, slow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a slow burn. What do you um, got? Let's see here. So I'm going to actually move, if I can put myself on said cursor. Now I'm going to spend multiple movement points to get to right there, right up behind the uh, edema. That way, if he needs something, I can spend next round and heal him. All right. Now, <clears throat> actually, let me look real quick. So that was two rounds of movement. So I'm going to take a... Actually, I'm going to recant that. I'm done thing. And I am going to channel heal. It's the one action version, so it's touch. Let's see... Spell its range of touch when using a channel energy device. It does five die eight plus four. So I will heal Adima. And let's hear um, the uh, South Park characters uh, chant for that. <laughs> <laughs> he gets possessed by Phrasma and turns into the old guy from South Park, which now must be voiced by Messina. Is that what you're saying? That's, uh, That's kind of what it sounds. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> that was cool. That was a cool joke once, but if we keep going there, I don't. I don't think we should. Uh, no. Oh, He's still right. coming up behind the guy and <laughs> and specifically laying hands. Yeah, like, he, I don't he know was, how you yeah, could not. He was on about his buff body, right? That's, all right. Just saying, the, the, the best way to heal a fighter is from behind. So, Frank, I want a prayer to Phrasma, or I want, or we're just gonna cut Messina loose on you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, uh, stumble, kind of you know, <laughs> trailing smoke and flames as I, I move up. You know, hands on the walls as I. Stagger up to the stairs. Phrasma, heal this brave warrior so that he might do more of your good. And slap a hand on him. Have dinner with me later. And and yes. <laughs> Become familiar. Yes. All right. Let, let these fires burn from him the clothing that obscures his powerful thews. <laughs> powerful thighs? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, old man. Just calm down here. Okay. <laughs> Let's have those dice rolls. Um, all right, so if I, oops, I rolled five dice. Now six. our our chat is getting to be a bit of a cluster. So, the thing was, hello, Alish and friends, we're showing you raw dice rolls because your vote matters, and we would like you to tell a new friend about the podcast for every raw dice roll you get to see. For those oh. of you that are not in theater of the mind. All right, so I added like a drinking game. It does. <laughs> I added one point too much on, on accident, so it should be five die eight plus four, not five. Okay. So that would be forty points of healing. Oh, oh, well, I believe that uh, Mister Edema might really actually take you out to dinner because that brings him beyond full. He was only twenty down, so he's back up to maximum, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Yeah, and that's two of my channels for the day. Are, are you free for dinner? Are you free for dinner? <laughs> okay, um, cool. And any actions left? 
Nope, that's it. I am spent. I've done three actions. And I take some burn damage, I think. <laughs> now, that's yeah. funny. You guy pull him spent, pulls out a cigarette after he heals I'm, s- I'm spent, and I light it on my own smoldering clothes. There you go. There you go. I guess <laughs> I should do something about this. Um, now, that reminds me. Uh, just to be fair, I think we'll do the burn damage on your turn instead of the bad guy's turn. Or I'm going to forget these. So, Old Man Arif has taken four points of fire damage. Be, be, be gentle with me. I, I'm old and frail. Four points of... He's getting really reckless since we pretty, promised him his own much. show. You notice that? He's like, yeah. obviously I'm immortal. Well, actually, technically, no, no, Frank, I, that stuff yeah, happens I, in the past. We've had this discussion before. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've had this discussion with Farasma. She said, not today. Hmm. This is second edition. This is the future from your previous oh. archives. So you could very well die today. Oh, well. There oops. You go. <laughs> Just saying. What will be revealed but in future podcasts is, is your past, not your future. Maricel, impress me. Okay. Uh, well, just because you're playing a pre-gen, you just kind of, you know, got to go all out, right? Uh, yes, I'm going completely all out. So I am going to attack with my two weapons. All right. My first being the rapier at plus 10. Ha ha! And I rolled a 19 for a total of 29. Ha ha! Okay. And I'm going to do my second damage roll right now. Uh, or attack roll for uh, the sap that I pulled out last round. Yes, I remember. And uh, it's a fancy weapon. Uh, I also have a magical set of rings that enhances it and brings it up to from uh, 1d6 to a 2d6 weapon. Mm-hmm. Ha ha! So I will attack with that for 14. No, 24. What the heck? How did that happen? Oh, I think I stuttered. Oh, you know... I have immunities. I glanced at them. They cut the creature over two or three pages. Asleep, fire, obviously paralysis, poison precision, and stun damage, and critical hits. Wait, wait, it's not stun damage. It's non-lethal damage. I am immune to critical hits. Oh. Yes. Cool. That's way too much retconning for this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it's like you guys have been critting and crit- don't tell jay yeah i know <laughs> he'd be so upset with me don't tell monkey all right um so yeah my first attack was a 29 my second attack was a 24 all right and i will be doing a third attack oh i will be ignoring criticals from now on i'll tell you that right now i bet you you will oh yes uh, um so first 29, is that a hit? Thanks for coming out and learning these things on our second edition playtest. <laughs> yes, my, my AC is 18, which I believe we've established. So Okay, so we're looking at 2d6 plus 4. Not on the last hit, but on the other hits. Huh. Other hits of hittiness. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah! 8. Okay. Oh, 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 damage for the first hit. The second, I believe, is actually the same thing. 2d6 plus 4. All right. It is 2d6 plus 2, actually. 2d6 plus 2. Dex bonus to this because it is not a finesse weapon. Not a finesse weapon. So, and for second round of damage, 9. So 12 and 9, 21 total damage. Kaboom. Can I have a reflex save from oh, Arles the Paladin? And he's probably God. livid with you. Like, he just blew one up in his face and he turns around to you and you're like, Shh, what? Boom. <laughs> oh, but I've got good reflex. So p- yeah, you do. You go, you, go get, you go flipping backwards and just leave him with the double, you know. It's almost you're at the Christmas table and someone pulls your cracker and then you're getting it's hit from the that. other side. Here, pull my it's Christmas cracker. As as, it's not as great as I thought it was going to be. It's don't get me wrong, it's pretty fantastic, but uh, the DC for this is only 16, guys. I I succeeded with a reflex save roll total of 30. Okay, you, <laughs> you still take half, but Arles, can I have a reflex save, sir? To take half of seven points, rounded down should be three if you succeed. So Marisol takes three, Arles, patent pending. Okay. okay, so then I guess I don't actually attack because it blew up for my last action. 
Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, it just starts blinking like an LED light. So I move to where and... my dagger went, and on the top of the next round, I will retrieve it. Ha ha, turned on. Uh huh. Don't you have to have an a action to get a reflex save in there? Isn't that a, isn't that a thing? Anyway, Arles. Yes. Your reflex save, sir? That's what Arles is known best for. Yeah, it sounds like his battery's low. No. <laughs> Come on, Tin Man. <laughs> Either turtle up inside that shell or dodge, because here comes the pain. Seven points of fiery damage. And you're looking for a... Uh... Reflex. DC no, no. 16. Mmm. Mmm, that doesn't look like 16. That looks like a... No, that's a solid 11. That's, a, that's a gentleman's 11. It's all right. Seven yeah. points for you. Uh, I believe that's a, a kabuski in my face. Fiery pain. Now, Marcel, did I not hit you last round? With a little fire? Marcel, did you not take a little damage last round? From a little fiery tendril? Because I kept attacking you? Everyone's nodding. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the panel I'm on, says... I'm on fire. D4 fire, yep. <laughs> So you take three this this time. To Crap, how up. much damage did I take from the initial hit? Because I don't think I tracked that. Oh, well, you rounded it down to three. Seven oh. and a half was three. And here right. comes another three. So you total six this time. If you haven't gotten to it. So I still you're have a pre, You're a pre-gen. The points don't matter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Arles is still on fire. So he takes a D4. One. Just chipping away at the paladin. <laughs> Squee! Arl's here on deck. Squee, you're up. What do you want to do here, buddy? I'll just do the same as last time. Attack and attack. Okay. Since everybody else ran away. Now, you know goblins have an affinity <laughs> for fire. They really like it. Yeah. It doesn't hurt me as much. So. Oh, okay. So was yeah. there getting mad laughter for us? Or, you know, I'm so sorry. We should be friends. You're both the same no, size category. You know. No? No, like no, okay. no, not today. Sorry, don't mean to tell you how to play your character. <laughs> <laughs> it's second not edition. Today. I'm the master uh, of. About 17. So close. 18 is actually looking for Can uh, you use a force point? <laughs> <laughs> Says our Jedi class. Uh, well, check out. We shot first our Star Wars Saga Edition Dawn of Defiance campaign, where Aiden is really stingy using his Jedi force points, if I recall. But he, you know, encourages the rest of you to use up yours, even if it's not the right game. Squee, what else you got for me, buddy? I'll attack again. Please, let's go. 19. There hey, you go. Hey, 21. Hey, oh, wow. Uh, okay. Hit. Yay. Feel the burn. <laughs> There's the big burn. <laughs> or three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, your character hits like a goblin. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. huh. Don't use the G word. Man. Goblin <laughs> gamers are very, very hip right. Very hot topic right now. Anything else, sir? Uh, and I give him the finger. I'm done. Arles. Lay off. Yes. Arles, you're up. Kane, you're on deck. What do you want to do, Arles? That was fast. Um. Well, you were taking damage from like from his turn. And Meryl's exploding. It's, it's finally your time to do something. Okay, so there's nothing in front of me at the moment to stab. Um, no, well, there's Marisol. No. <laughs> no, as much as she does sin, she's not a sinner. <laughs> Bring it in there, Mazina. Yes, she is. Well, no, the, not, the, not the stabbing. Just nothing that you've seen. True, not, that's what is important. That's what's important. I have to see it. <laughs> well, right now, <laughs> there's a, a fiery elf in front of you. Would you like to possibly douse the flames that are engulfing your body? Um, yeah, I'll I'll take a walk through okay. the water. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, splish splash. Okay. So is it walking in the water and then an uh, action to douse? Um, uh, without the reflex save, we'll just say you're just burning actions instead of making the reflex save. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, you yeah, go so over there, I then you take your action to douse. You have one action left. All right, uh, and then I'll take a splish splash to do my four squares north. Okay. Now that's pretty cool because if you guys can see this on the board, ladies and gentlemen, he just stoically like just the battle's done, and oh, I'm on fire. And he's 
casually walks straight across the board into the water and then immediately turns his course, leaving the water and letting that last 15 feet of pond do the work for him, exits and continues on to re-enter the battle. Mm -hmm. Arles is the man. Anything else, sir? No, uh, unless I can... uh, Can I take a bonus action just to look cool? I just stated how cool you look. Thank you. When the DM that, says it, it's like, <laughs> it's beyond cool. Players go, I look cool doing it. No, you don't. Yeah. No, no. Good the deal. Uh, I, don't if I get could... greedy. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you I know, mean, I, I'm O'Day, uh, man. <laughs> I, I would only do it if I looked cool doing it. I just said you looked awesomely cool. So, you oh, doubt the gods? No, never. You want to be a fighter? <laughs> <laughs> no, they uh, can't uh, heal themselves. Exactly. Uh, Moving on, Kane, you're up. Abdima is not here, but it will do something interesting, I promise. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, continue running after that woman. That run, woman. Get in there. All right, so 30 feet into there. Yep. Then using the last five feet plus the next action. It's up to here. Do I see her? No. And that's a 10-foot drop over that wall, by the way. Because you just went up 10 fight feet of stairs. Okay. Just so you uh, know. Can I use the rest of my movement to hop down? Uh, yeah, now isn't there the, the good old athletics for half damage kind of thing or ignore damage? I don't know. This is my first time ever it playing sh- second it sh- edition. It should be. It sh- there should be something. Okay. Uh, oh. Looking. Or you could climb. Five ten feet up that building and get like you know the high ground to look for. Uh, no thanks. Uh, it's, I think it's actually uh, acrobatics to uh, avoid damage from a fall. Okay. Okay. Well, they usually like it's more like acrobatics to reduce your falling by ten foot of damn. You know, no one just goes thirty feet done. Look at me, monk. It's like nope. You drop thirty feet. You take ten feet off. You do an acrobatic to try and stick the landing. You only know, take twenty feet of damage. That was the old way. Okay, so. The new way is. Tell us a wise goblin. Yeah, well, it's wise goblin as I'm trying to read it right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never let him see a sweat, Joe. Rule number one of podcasting. You can grab an edge as a reaction using your acrobatic skill to reduce the damage. If not, refer to this stupid page. No, that's something. What's the DC for that? Uh, hold on. Anyway, we're looking for an acrobatics roll. Now, whether you decide to do this or not, let's have it. Ball uh, ten. Acrobatics, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that, because now I just realized I'm like, I'm letting him roll. I was like, you know, I don't feel like I'm going to, I'm not feeling this acrobatics roll. Uh, lands lands okay. with his face. So it's pretty basic. If you fall more than five feet, you take damage, which is the old rules. Yeah, ten feet, yeah. If you have athletics, or sorry, acrobatics, you can grab an edge as a reaction to reduce the damage. And if you fall By into what, water half? snow, uh, it doesn't tell me. Okay, keep going. And if you fall into snow, water, or soft substance, then it's uh, 20 feet shorter. So I, if you fell 30 feet, you'd only take a 10 foot damage. Looks like we're falling on sand. What kind of sand is this? With all those rocks? I'd, I'd say it's soft ground, not hard ground, but yeah. Okay. I, I I hate to play devil's advocate, but no, no, I know, I know. A, it's a pathway in between two buildings. That's going to be about as packed as it can be. That's fair. It's got to hold up the structure so it don't sink into the sand, right? It's it like it's just going to be a well trodden path. I know, it's gonna I, know, be... I know. Yeah, that must be that dark area of hard packed where you have that open area we came from with the little ripples as your sort of soft o sand. Yeah. It's holding up the yeah. buildings. Anyway, so over you go. Crap it with a ten. Take. D6 worth of damage. Oh no. Kerplop. Yeah, fifth level, suck it up, right? I said D6 worth of damage. Hmm. Oh, and there it is. Six. Oh, <laughs> wait, six. Wait, do we go off the first or the second? The first one. It just was yeah, it was lagging. To- totally the first one. Ah. You, it's it. you and me, buddy. Six. <laughs> fair, fair enough, fair enough. I forgot who I'm dealing with for a minute there. I was talking to someone about our relationship on and off camera, as it were, on and off the microphone, and someone said, you know, when he interviewed you, you guys seemed to get along, you know, and I was like, 
Yeah, because he was doing a good job as an interview. It doesn't mean I have to be nice to him when we're gaming. It's, our personal relationship is irrelevant. I'm the GM, he's the player, and he gives me sass, and I give him maximum falling damage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And you oh, suck it. And do you have any actions left? Because now you have to peel your yep. grass out of the uh, ass, out of the sand. I have one action left. Okay. Um, yes, I guess I will use that action to get up if that caused me to fall prone. Which I get, yeah, taking damage from a fall. Yeah. Okay. So get up. Uh, do I see the woman anywhere? Yeah, you do. You kind of land at her feet because I haven't moved her. Um. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so I get to the edge of the wall and I wouldn't see her directly beneath me. Nope, because she's not directly beneath me. She's around that second corner and it's 10 feet away around the corner. So it's just oh, enough distance oh, okay. to... Around to the left. All right. I got you. Like, okay. let me just let me just conjure her up here. She doesn't want to seem to... Um... Hi there. <laughs> right? Like, okay. oh, I was going to leave and then I hear plop and I'll turn around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a loaded crossbow from running, and you're down. You actually get a bonus. It's actually hard to shoot you when you're prone. Maybe you want to stay down. <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> nah, nah. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. Okay. Um, we're um, adjacent in a corner, ladies and gentlemen. So he squeezed between these buildings, beyond the dome building, we're at the very, very, very top of the map, squeezing between these buildings, going upstairs. It's like this little platform. And then there's open space between the buildings going dumping into the north side of the map with a little bit of sand i got down up and just around this corner of this top building and along comes kane looking for abel falls on his face at my feet and sort of now can kind of see me standing around the corner in the middle of my run or whatever and you get up right yes okay along comes edema ah, falls right on you <laughs> No, he would like, and I come and I see her. And then if we know Jade, be like, well, I'll make a perception check because I want to see the opponent, you know. And he said, did I see which way she went around the corner? And I'd argue you were 10 feet back off the platform. And even though you saw me move the mini to the left, you have no idea which way the character went. Well, follow me here. Boy, I've yeah. had lots of conversations with this guy. <laughs> I can't even see how he's going to react to me. He'll make a perception check. That's his second move. And he'll be like, I cast a spell another magic missile or something right i don't know if he can with only one action uh i don't know the good thing about jay is he's pretty thorough with his sheets because he's like one of the few of you guys that's actually enjoying second edition has been reading a lot of it but i don't see i don't see a spell sheet here hang on um jay's just such a trendy guy All right, now I've lost. <laughs> I've lost what little I had. Um, hmm. No spell list. All right, so let's assume, you know, we are winning. He's, you know, he's going to help you. So he's going to try his chance to get down there. So same thing. Jay with the athletics. Uh, what's the DC on this? Set by me, Joe. <clears throat> the uh, it's the athletics is to just to uh, grab an edge to actually stop you from falling. That's uh, acrobatics. That, the acrobatics, sorry, that's it. There is no, you know, let's roll for half or anything like okay, that. Okay, well, since he's not hurried, I'm sure he would argue that he could hand drop. He's like, can I go over the edge, climb down halfway? You know, I'm a five foot tall guy. My feet are five feet off the ground, and I drop five feet. No damage, right? Right. Very complicated. Burning all my tool, to all my tools, burning all my moves, and there he is, right beside you giving you the 50-50 chance that she'll attack him with a cleaner shot than you. Fair enough. And now Kane rolls the d4 of fate. Odd or even, Kane? Uh, let's go even. Even? All right. I'll even let you roll your own fate, sir. Nope. Oh, there we go. Even, roll your fate. Even in your favor means she, she will attack four. Adima. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah. Okay. No, actually, um, these should be switched. Right. So, around a corner, but no, I actually have a clean shot if I shoot him because he's a square back and I can draw a line from my square to his. Okay. Check this out. Let's learn about rangers. What have we learned about rangers? Hi, my name is uh, Kiyama. I am an Ifrit uh, mercenary and I have a crossbow and I'm awesome. Awesome with it. I decide 
that since my loaded crossbow, <clears throat> I make edema my hunted target. 100 feet, blah, 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 takes the weapon down. I can make multiple attacks and it reduces penalties. Very cool stuff. Um, combat ace, hunt attack to interact with a reload. Uh, next strike with her at the end of her next turn against her target. Adds damage rolls and increases to the D10. So. What, is my, only what is my damage? Can't find it. Oh, Eric. So 2D8 becomes 2D10 plus 4 piercing if I hit him. And my 13 becomes a 15. That's to gross. Hit, to hit. So I roll a 20. 4. Plus 15 is 19. Oh, that misses. Is that Miss Edema? What's his AC? Yeah, 23 armor class. Damn you, Tamlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's the he's the beefiest mage ever. Okay, so yeah, point blank range to just shoot him, and he just like his mage is pretty epic, man. I'm sorry, yeah. but uh, any wizard running around beating the shit out of people with a with a fucking two handed great. Well, sword. he's he's a fighter mage. He the way the Pathfinder Society Society Second Edition has it, he's dabbed into, but it's their multi classing rules. So he's seriously beefed himself with all this multi class fighter stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, say this right now. They're gonna nerf that. Yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> well, notice how I didn't suddenly. Like, if it was Kane, I'd be like, "Eh, he casts a spell." But because it's Abel over here, I mean, Edema, um, uh. I didn't give him the option to like suddenly cast a spell at her because he's probably very short on spells to get all this beefiness because he's blown all his you know multi-class levels and fighter. Anyway, he was trying to make a Magus kind of thing and he's doing quite job. Anyway, the cool thing is, excuse me, hunt target is one. Uh, favored aim burn my other two just to get the plus two <laughs> and I had to ignore cover just to really nail him and I miss so my turn ends and I'm standing in front of you two morons with an unloaded crossbow round six master <laughs> Arif what do you do <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a terrible place to find yourself. I got so excited about like stacking all kinds of abilities I really didn't think of the end game here should have ran Hid, should have took should've the high gone. ground instead of shooting him in the face with a crossbow. Spins a chamber, puts crossbow to his head. The most epic moment of the turning point just happened, and he missed it. Let's see. I am going to try to add insult to injury here. Okay. Hopefully, lots of injury. And I'm going to cast. So, tell us what you did here. You like ran up the stairs, you come oh, to the I... edge, you look down. I... Yeah, if, fuck all three of those guys. I'm going to cast Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> you can cast it, like, off the map so it maybe engulfs her. Or you're just like, no. I don't like any of you. Uh, let's see here. I am going to try Spiritual Weapon. <laughs> Actually, it, there's an infidel elf from the Arctic and that guy that argued all your facts about the book. And we're on the back of the map behind a wall, the bad girl. No one could... No one would know. Like, <laughs> I, I, give her a, I give her a sly wink. Yeah. And then fireball right at the base of the. <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Jay, you died. I, mm -hmm. Dane's like, yeah, I died too, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> fucking Arif. Fucking Arif. <laughs> Who knew Arif was chaotic evil? <laughs> I, I keep hearing the cherry bomb song in my head. Hello, Daddy. Hello, and instead of cherry bomb, it's fireball. Yeah. Fire! Fire! Um, so, there is actually a fireball song by Pitbull. Is there? Fireball. Oh, oh. No, no, I can't cast <laughs> fireball again. <laughs> that's that's, that's <laughs> a one, <laughs> one time thing. Really? I'm, I'm yeah. getting out of all this fire for you. I, I wish. I wish. You're, you're making me lie on like live camera video. That's, on live that's camera. not cool, dude. Nope. So, spiritual weapon and Arif using the power of roll 20 gets a two. So, total of 11. <laughs> But now there's a spiritual weapon right there. Oh, okay. Float. So you move, Perfect. and then two chevrons later, it's yep. weapon out. Uh, move up to there and cast a spell. Now this appears as the holy deity weapon, right? So it's actually like yep. a dagger because so Phrasma. I thought Phrasma yeah. used a dagger. Dimitar. I'm just using the uh, the template. I just changed the name. Oh, okay. It's Old Man Arif, but it's Kira's. 
character yeah. sheet. So honestly, dude, if it appears as your deity's favorite weapon, I happen to know that Phrasmas is a dagger. Oh, yeah. So you get this really cool looking dagger that moves around like the original Dune movie, you know, the uh -huh. thing comes out through the through oh, the bed. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I was trying to make this little tiny insignificant dagger seem more threatening for him, but there you go. There you go. <laughs> Kind of a downplay from the opening fireball there, old man, but not, not bad, not bad. <laughs> hey, hey, I've uh, managed to soak up a bunch of Edema's damage, so that's all good. And you've been healing the party. Well, good, one good of for them. you. <laughs> Let's give him his own show. Anyway. The best um, friend. The best friend. Getting friendly with some of the characters, I've seen that. Oh, well, I screwed him over in Star Wars. <laughs> Mayor's <Marathon. laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> Same player, and he runs away and leaves him with a bill for a ghillie suit in the Aquarius under. Anyway, anyway, <clears throat> this is getting really hard for me not to dick around and and stay focused. You guys are feeding the bear here. Kind of. I'm, I'm talking to you, Zuba Love, on Reddit. I'm trying, man. I am trying so hard to stay focused. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on, then. Personally, it's your You're turn, up. man. I'm waiting on you. I'll, I'm just going to sprint uh, <laughs> as far as I can. Okay. Which where, would be... Where are you? I am I am the furthest away. Okay. Get in the game, man. So uh, there's, uh, there's one round of movement. Gets me to the top of the PC starts here square. <laughs> <laughs> and he's back to the beginning. Second round of movement gets me to there. And third round of movement. Now, if I made it's a bit of meta, you have no idea which way she went. They all ran to the middle, and she could have gone. If you're looking to cut her off the pass, she could have gone left, or she could have gone right. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but Jeff, the right side of the map is, is you can't go around that side. <laughs> okay, Frank, I'll take that. Sure. <laughs> Frank saves you once again. Oh, guys. wait, no, wait, no. Retcon, retcon. Let's start at the beginning again. What? No, no, you've got to stay there. What? I'm on fire. Oh, hey. <laughs> I wonder why I stopped complaining. <laughs> oh, shit. So I'm going to go jump in the pond. Sploosh. Okay. One, two. S sploosh. Yep. Sploosh. There's my first round of movement. Well, we had move to get in and then yep. an action to negate the reflex. Okay. So that's two. Okay, so the second one would actually get me to here. And then third one would be... Well, what you can do... Five, what's, what's your total movement? 30. Right, so go... It's 10 in, then double through difficult terrain. Yep. So that's 20, 25 out, 30. So just pull yourself one back, and you're there. And you and you, that's one move, plus the splooshing. It's two, so you have a full move left from here. Yeah, and I'll I, and I will chase in the direction I saw them go. So okay. that's what thank you. I I'd get to like here. Okay. And you're done. That's it. Okay. Squeeze. But I'm not on fire. That's right. Yay! And you can kind of peek around the corner there and see Squeeze banging away at this last. Yeah. Once again, everybody leaves me. <laughs> <laughs> Still got Arles. Considering the first couple episodes, everyone was He's chasing you. I'm not. Yep, I know. He's attached to a goblin boot, the size yep. of the city, and everyone's like, "Are you okay?" And you're like, "Nope, I got this. Do not assist." And you get falling off, and you jump back up, <laughs> jump back on the thing, and you, they're they're jogging along behind you. That was a couple episodes ago. That was so long. Yeah. Now he's bitching. He's alone. I did put you on the corner of the map, though. That's true. Ha! -ha! Yeah. Twenty-two. Yay! I know that hits. Yes, it does. Oh my For god. One damage. Yeah, hey now. Come on, man. You can do oh. this. I'm, I'm, trying oh, the reverse, oh, I'm trying the reverse jinx. There's a goblin oh, friendly. It fucking failed. Sorry, it bro. fucking failed. There's a <laughs> goblin friendly surprise at the end if you get him to zero. Kaboom. <laughs> oh um, anything else? More attacks? More attacks. More attacks. Sorry, I'm just trying to load it. <laughs> get back in there. 12, 12. Nope. misses. No. Hell, not for you. Oh, pick why not? Let's, let's do a third one. I freaking minus that. Why not? No pick for you. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, I will. Do it. Natural 20. Yeah, that would be awesome. It's called the last one. 
Eight. <laughs> this again. And once again, I spit at him. <laughs> I am done. He's so defiant. Oh. I hate you all. Yeah. All right. Barrels. <clears throat> Kane, you're on deck. Okay. Q, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Spam the Q button. Help me. Don't seem to be doing anything. (laughs) (laughs) Can I begin my next round as a movement? So, so, so I make two moves. Okay. I see this fire element there that is fighting Squee. Yes, you do. You come up. I'll give it to you. Not to mention yeah. he's cursing and spitting and, and making rude <laughs> gestures of a sinner towards it. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I felt it yeah. from a distance. He's giving him the forks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someone is making rude gestures. Quick, to the desert cave, bat boy. What? Yeah. All right. Um, And I'll take one poke. Hudukin. Oh, my head is filled with Arl's and Speed and the Batman bill. Oh, oh, yeah. Crit. Is it? Crit. I'm sorry, I'm immune. 19 points of damage, though. Son of a bitch. A little tendril Wait. comes up and gives you guys a little a nasty. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh. <laughs> I remembered my immunities. My brothers have fallen. Stick around. There'll be a surprise for you at the end. Yeah. As a, as a version of retcon, now critical attacks heal your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it gets, it gets better. So he dives in there. Even ignoring the crit, he does 19 points of damage. Right? Explodes. Oh, mm-hmm. It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Lighting him on fire again. Yeah. Right? No, no, no. no. You, hear, you hear this. Kaboom. Yeah. Just poish. All right. <clears throat> um, I forgot the exploding damage. DC 16 reflex from the two of you, please. 2d6 fire. There we go. Explosion. Exploding dice. For, for nothing. Oh. Natural twenty. Yeah, I can see. Look at Arl's. Oh damn! Oh, I do. I do a backflip. Jumps in, expecting the explosion. Yeah. Leaps backwards. Still yeah. soaking wet. I I can't put this on. I can't put this on yeah. camera. But you guys need to pull up me on Zoom right now. Yeah. So. No. The, the armor's just steaming from the water. First of all. Before this thing blows up and and Arles pulls out his reflex, he says he really is all about the reflex. And second, Joe, you missed it by one. Uh, no, because that's my base roll. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, there was a way for the DM put his finger <laughs> in your face. Yeah. What do you got? That was so good. That was so good, Joe. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that that made me feel so warm and fuzzy inside right there. Uh, oh, it's a it by one. No, that Smash. was a raw roll, Jeff. So uh Squee <laughs> drops his pants. <laughs> starts wiggling the bum at the sky. Pulls out his, his D and slaps you in the face with it. Now now. Oh, right, so There's I'll a paladin my, present. I'll take my half damage. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was the D he was looking for. <laughs> there we go. Um, take, your, it. take your two points of fire damage and you buggers are on fire again. Well, I have fire resistance. <laughs> oh, you wait, do? Oh, nothing. Oh, wait, I, oh, 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 I make oh. the save and I'm still on fire? <laughs> I'm not. No, I, 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 new fire exploded on you. Yeah, yeah but... I no, he save. got a critical success on a save. Oh, no, I'm not talking about Arles. I'm talking about um, oh, okay. Joe Meister oh. here. No, I was I was just screwing with you. you guys. You're fine. Okay. The explosion is kind of like a fireball. It just winks out. It's the tendrils and them slapping you and stuff. They tried to heal Man, you. Yeah, you and your slapping tendrils. You've been watching far too much Japanese anime. <laughs> I've been hanging out in the temple of uh, Phrasma, <clears throat> the slap and tickle heel. Hey now, too many old gods. Too many old gods. And yet, gentlemen, you don't see any opponents, and yet the gods continue to crank the wheel of fate and. Initiative, Kane, you're up. Yeah. Abdima's on deck. Uh, question. Yes. Do five foot steps still exist? No. No. Uh. Oh. But then again, I can't attack of opportunity you unless I have the feet, so you're good. Yeah. Oh, it's less of that. It's more of a, I don't want to waste the action. Oh. No. Any movement is movement. Okay. Uh, 
If I made a melee attack against her, would she get cover? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All and right. You move first. I, I. Yes, I realize. I'm trying to avoid moving. <laughs> trying to be a, the economy size of move economy. He's trying to be economical. Yes. You're a spellcaster, <clears throat> right? Yeah. You That's could you think. spell cast. So first he All gets right. in a demon's way. Yeah. yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Well, okay, fine. Uh, I'll go 10 feet and go, you know, like north in the square above me. Yeah. Yes. In the, in the map north. of doesn't existness. Yeah. You know what? I think the gods can move the earth for you. There we go. Oh my god. It's the void. All right. There you go. All right. Wonderful. Then, second action. Well, hang on. I'm get gonna act there. Get into the void. I am. No, you're not. I, I was. You moved me back. Well, I wanted you to see <laughs> what was going on there. Okay. I already noticed. <laughs> Like we could miss the void, Jeff. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so spending a spell point, I'm going to activate my bloodline power. Ooh. Ooh. Which allows me to Hold up, what's a spell point? I, I don't know. It's Re something that casts. Reverse back the fuck get. up. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Record oh. scratch. Uh Okay. You get a pool of them equal to, I believe it is your casting modifier. And do only sorcerers get them or do wizards get them? I yep. don't know if wizards Clarks get them. Get them too. All, all spell okay. casters. All spell casters. Okay, never, there we go. Never studied. Okay, continue. I studied sorcerers. I didn't give a shit about <laughs> wizards or clerics or druids. I think you missed the part, Matt, where we we're saying, you know, we should we should do this slowly and re so people can learn, including ourselves. We're just trying to, you know, you, you mentioned a new it's thing, a so test. I was ask, I was asking hey, you to iterate. Hey, honestly, yeah. we should not learn any rules, and every time something comes up, we should just be like monotonously reading out of the books because people would totally so, love that. Oh yeah, <laughs> it it looks to me like everybody keeps the same. Um, number of spells based on their level and they use things like spell points to take into account domain or bonus spells or things like that I'd imagine yeah. or bloodline powers yeah okay. so uh, that's what uh spell points are for moving on. yes right, so moving. anyway uh i will activate my dragon claws from my you know draconic bloodline oh really there's no trees around here raskin giving you the finger jeff hmm? <laughs> hey i am a different colored or different. Oh. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. His first, his first Rise of Rune Lords character was a cobalt draconic sorcerer that got mad, pulled out claws. The town hated him. The whole party took negative two to, to diplomacy checks because of Raskin's actions. It yeah, because... literally started like growing like black scales along his body. Oh, had a tail great. as well. Um, Listen to no. the trailer, Clint's Car Classics trailer. We actually, the trailer is actually the green grocer, green grocer's hot redheaded sixteen-year-old daughter luring him in the basement to look after the giant rat problem, and all he finds is a cot. Turns around, she's naked. So what yeah. do you do when you're unprepared? You cast mage armor on yourself for some protection. Nope. <laughs> and Daddy comes down armor. the stairs. You know, it's just yeah. And I, I get one. It's a trap. Yep. Yeah. The yeah, best part was Connor and. Um, Reeton demanded that they had to be walking by when he got beat up and thrown into the street. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian, the monk, like, we don't know him. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a whole new sorcerer. It's a whole new world here in the desert. Yes. Anywho, activate claws. Dare close your eyes. I know. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I set him off. Sorry. Uh, you're fine. When um, you're done dealing with me, Aiden, you can deal with Matt. <laughs> there is Go no on. dealing. The, they're automatically heightened to whatever uh, caster level I'm at, which means that they are now treated as plus one magic, which gives them a plus one item bonus to attack rolls and adds oh, an additional so damage. Would that have been like a retcon plus one to climbing rolls on your way down to falling on your face? No, no, because uh, I have to activate them and grow them. Okay. So. Just curious. Yes. Although I do have a question because it says uh, increase to damage die but it, it has two different types of damage dice. It gets 1d4 slashing and 1d4, well, in my case, cold damage. Uh, that'd be the slashing would be heightened, probably. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Slash yep. away. Splash, 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 slash. Uh, 
19. Okay. Is it hit? No. Sorry. I'm turned around shooting fully aware and have an AC of 20. Anything else? Ah, blessed. Sorry. Uh, no, that's three actions. No plus and one. And last for a full minute, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Abdima. Um, pretty sure he retrieved his sword somewhere in there. Probably just comes right in. With his plus 10 to whack. Of wackiness. Rolls at 10. Plus 10 is 20. Thank you, Abdima. And it was like a D12. What does this thing do? Anyone remember? I thought it was 2D something. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's two what, dice. What does what do? His, His Adima's sword, giant Hassan chop sword. I think it's 2 die 10. Well, that was because of crits and stuff, wasn't it? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. It's 1D12 plus 4. Yeah. It was there two, we go. Yeah, but he was critting hmm. like a crazy man. Yeah. I mean, um, sometimes it's attacking those fire elementals twice. Okay, well, she just took nine points of damage thanks to your good friend, Adima. <clears throat> the player that isn't here is doing better than you, Aiden. Come on now. Round seven, Master Arif. So spending one action point to direct the weapon of force. Mm -hmm. uh, does a 28 hit? Yes. All righty. So you go back. I believe that just does a die eight. Oh, die eight plus four. My bad. Seven points of damage. Ouch. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm good. Marisol. Continue the sprint. Okay. Do you have enough to get there? Squee, you're on deck. Is after that. So first <clears throat> round gets me to, or first action gets me there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 gets me up to there. Okay. And now I get to face the fearsome drop of 10 feet, but I don't care. I'll, I'm just not even going to bother even trying to reflex save. I'm just going to walk off the edge and rely on my uh, cat's fall ability to reduce the falling from. <laughs> Do you have to roll to stay on your feet? Like, is it one of those, you know, I fall, hit the ground, roll away, and slap the ground, but you're still prone? It just, it just says treat any falling, so I won't take damage. So I should, yeah, I, I, I probably would face plant if I was just ignore. Hmm. So, yes, all right. Uh, I will make the uh, prerequisite uh, acrobatics check to stop myself from falling. On your face. On the my There face, is a distinctive uh, face print, kind of Alvin looking. You would recognize this being an elf yourself. So my face would just like fit right into the slot there. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's a dude's face, but maybe. That was even dirtier. Um, let me see. Acrobatics. Ooh. I'm quite expertly proficient in that. Mm. Let's see what you got. 26. Ta-da. She sticks the landing. <clears throat> Do you have anything else? I have... One more movement. Um, you know what's great about all of us getting together? I can make the map bigger and you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> finally getting the map to like, oh, I can finally see you guys were so spread out. It's a pretty epic looking map though. I really like this map. It is a pretty cool map. Um, you want to know what? Yes, I will. Um, how many, so, so I'm on the ground. I have one full round, so five, 15. So yeah, I can actually make that, but does she, do, do you have your, the attacking of opportunity action? Cause I probably provoke. Unloaded crossbow in the hand. Oh. No, I, I don't think so. Sweet, so I take a flanking position. And that's all I can do. That was my third movement. All right, I changed the void to a, a pleasant, um... <clears throat> Pleasant sandy color, yeah. It's the pink void, which <laughs> actually is the dirtiest thing I've ever said. So, um. <laughs> they're a they were a very popular uh, band in forty seven seventy. The pink void. The pink void. <laughs> pink void. Yeah. Say it fast. Pink void. Yeah, no, I got it. Thank you. 
I got it. I can't all spoon feed them to you there, Aiden. You just got to do some reading. No, I was laughing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> just assume hello, the youngest guy hello, would know. Hello. Ranger, are you <laughs> out there? <laughs> <laughs> just bleed if you can see me. Standing in the desert. <laughs> dum dum. Maricela, are uh, you right done? Right beside a big blue dome. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> stand up, stand up now. Don't fall like Cain did. How? Anyway, um, I think Marcellus Wallace is done. Oh, thank you, Squee. You are up. Arles, you're on deck. Okay. Uh, completely distracted by the fight, Brindy everyone ran off around the corner. Please, no matter. I know it'd be so great just to come around that corner, but ah, uh, I think combat's Hello? over. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now we drink. <laughs> yeah. I will. Yeah. I don't know. Victory! We defeated all of the foes. <laughs> <laughs> but at what cost? Our comrades have disappeared. <laughs> uh, do you, if you want to hold and we go to Arles, Arles can fill you in on the battle situation and then you guys can keep going. Sure. Why not? Oh, all right, yeah, he please. totally would have seen me just sprinting ahead down the stairway. Well, Arles knows what's going on, but oh, last, she was a little last last man meat on what to do. <laughs> Let's have that in character, please. It's your old buddy, oh, man, oh, meat. man meat. What shall we do? Man meat's muted. Oh. <laughs> he has a visor down his helmet. We can't hear him. Yeah. I just realized that waving doesn't help because you guys are on one monitor and probably not looking at each other on Zoom, but looking at the map or whatever. So nope, looking at everybody. I just have uh, the map yeah, kind of three quarters sheeted and then zoom oh, okay. up at the top. You got a nice gal. I actually come up with a nice gallery view of you guys down the bottom. It's just big enough to. I like it up by the camera. That way, it looks like I'm talking to you. Yeah. Man, everything we've said tonight is a total innuendo. <laughs> no kidding. Um, Everything. Like, I've just been, like, biting my tongue the whole night. Oh, whoops. <laughs> ever since ever since Jeff mentioned that that wasn't the D. <laughs> the D one. <laughs> Arles, save me from this. <laughs> Banzer. Nothing that I've become. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, but you're a sinner. <laughs> Arles, it's your go. Yeah. You know, midday's late. We'll burn the sin from your body. Is this what you're saying, a little squeeze? He's the only guy around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Preach to the row. <laughs> As the sword ignites in the holy blue flame, Squee feels uncomfortable. Come on. Come on. Uh, you're actually wanting me to go to Aiden, who's next. <laughs> <laughs> no. Great, great role play, where, where is it, where's the next sinner? Uh, this way. That way? Yep. As far as yeah. you know, they went this way. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep. 5, 10. 15, <laughs> this is painful to 20, watch. Too. <laughs> Squee, you want to follow along there? You're next. Sure. You just flipped along with him. And then 5, 10, 15. <laughs> <laughs> Squee just teleported I will base my movement minus where the paladin ends up. Well, it's pretty simple. I'm five feet faster than him, so. No, I know. Oh, yeah. just, that's what I thought you were Every, doing. It's just kind of like. Everyone's just, faster yeah, than me. You just add your movement. Like, there you go. Yep. There this you is go. where I'd end up. All right. <clears throat> Kane. Go squee. Seek out the sinner. Seek out the sinners. He passes you and his point. Can you bless him on the way by? <laughs> High five for holiness. <laughs> Kane. Yes. I will do three attacks on her. 17 misses. Next one is actually at a minus four instead of minus five. Nine. And you ever see the military parade guys that they, they do the standing and they flip the rifle and hit the ground and flip around with it? Then you get to see a great Tomb Raider movie and how she used that same kind of stance to actually fight somebody. This is exactly yeah, how she that. is fighting you, sort of fending you, you guys off. Wait, you said great Tomb Raider movie? 
Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> a good scene from a movie. I uh, know we have to retract that whole sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There's this one scene in a movie totally I saw. Got you there though. Seriously. Where a British character uses what you thought was just military parade to actually, you know, defend herself. I thought it was kind of neat. And this is what Crossbow Girl is doing now, keeping her AC at 20. Anyway, <clears throat> how'd you make out there? 1796, sorry, thank you for coming out. Abdima, a mighty swing from Abdima. Natural no. one. And the sword goes, <laughs> Round eight. I He excuses himself and chases his sword. Bye. Round eight. Master F, let's not make this round 10. Come on, buddy. You Man. got this, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just walk up and boober with your stick. Who thought distance would be the bane of this party? It's like, damn, we gotta walk across this map. <laughs> Son of a map is so long. <laughs> so big. So long. So many stairs. <laughs> it's like one set of stairs. Anyway. It's too many. Well, there's several on the map, but you guys have like used it's one. It's not Winston. Never mind. Yeah. Special weapon. Let's see. Sound burst. She's Nah, fuck it. Marisil's fat too. <laughs> <laughs> Preach and iconics, you've really fallen off the wagon there, honey. <laughs> I haven't had much use. Seriously, though, mental image Shit. that for a second. You imagine uh, that? She's in the oh. back of every module, but they're like, players just don't keep take me out for a run anymore. They make up their own dudes, and I'm sitting here eating chips at the back of the module. <laughs> Horribly overweight rogue <laughs> elf. Oh my god. Who's that still is, confident? Right, that is definitely your next character. <laughs> yeah. That's why, so I accidentally. <laughs> Actually, I threw a second attack in there, but I didn't need to. Um, first attack, AC 24. Yes. Nice. <clears throat> Five points of damage. Okay. And I'm done. Not have it attack more than once around? You know, I've been reading the spell, and it doesn't say you can. Well, how long does the spell take to cast? Two chevrons? It, it, it's a two chevron spell. So let's assume you have to double down to keep using it. Does that make sense? I have to spend one action to use it. Oh, really? Okay. Well, to keep on. the spell going. Okay. So, one to keep it going, two attacks? I'd be cool with that. All right. Give us a second. One. Sure. No one's looking. Emoji's sure, no not one, looking. No one's looking. Emoji's not here yet. Still clanking up the stairs. <laughs> that guy knows nothing. Emoji's not here uh, yet. You're good. 13 missed. Okay. Maricel, squeeze your on deck. Okay. Um, I am going to attempt to disarm. All right. With my rapier. Okay. And I am looking up the rules for that now, but they're just not apparent. Prevalent. Prevalent. Yes, good. Considering this scene is like little, this poor bugger gets up at three o'clock in the morning to work. He's literally, I'm watching him wobble okay, in his sorry. chair and he just did this drive by correction of your, your grammar. I'm impressed. <laughs> Excellent job, sir. Um, it is an <laughs> acrobatics check, apparently. Um, okay. I think. Sure. Uh, on top of my regular attack. We so get in I... there. Give me some movement while he's figuring this out. Okay. So here's my regular attack. Hiya. Natural 20. Right. Nice. Yes. Versus my what? Versus your it hits. I don't care. <laughs> Damn, I tried. I tried. Okay. Um, Two-handed weapon. You have to hit me twice. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. That's second edition rules. <laughs> oh, second the, ori edition. the original second edition D&D. It's like it's the second edition of the books. <laughs> so, so I succeed at disarming my opponent. Okay. And, and you take damage. Haha. -ha. And damage? Well, no, okay. I have to roll to see if I succeed. <laughs> I'll give you that. But, but no, you, no, no. you take damage. So I attack you, doing damage. Okay. And, and with my attack, it's, this is a special ability. I should say that because people at home may want to know this. Um, I want to know this and I'm here. So you get a two for one. So, you have to hurt me so and I have disarm the me? disarm trait okay. on my rapier. Okay. So I can use this weapon to attempt to disarm with a plus one item bonus. So I okay. get to add plus one to my athletics check. Okay. It doesn't sound like you're doing damage though. It just sounds like it's a, it's a disarming kind of weapon. Um, 
Sure. Like, like they have trip weapons. You have like a, you know, they had the trip weapon in the last sure, game. Sure, I'll, I'll forego damage to remove the weapons from this character's hands with a natural 20. Sure. Or would you like to get a really, really juicy hit in there? Yeah, you and know, I'm trying to. <laughs> I probably want that really juicy hit. Did she call you a fat bitch? I don't know. You don't know. You have no idea what she thinks about I, you. I think she did. I think she did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unhappy, so I eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i was pushing it as i was what, what, no you know what you're right fat juicy damage let's just go for the fat juicy damage so well uh, so what is that that name? is wrong i should you should you want information dude you want to know what's going on just sing armoring her demanding surrender you know or just kill her no we know nothing yeah, like as tempting as that is you really gotta no i, I yeah i know okay. that that honestly was my legit um i know i was just messing call. With i think we're all getting tired all right Weapon goes flying. Good job, Marcel. What the ta ta? Use your next two actions for an intimidate check. Demanding her surrender? Yes? I just. Yeah. Jeez, um, you could use that amazing attack roll as your intimidate check, could you not? Maybe? No. No, probably oh, not. No, okay. I probably could. not. No. Where are my skills? I have no skills. Right, squee. Uh, oh, no, I found it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I'm there not sitting here all day waiting for you to scare me. Come on. All right. Boo. Boo. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. She is unflustered by your attempt. No, I don't think so. But she was also unarmed. No. Ooh. No, no. Squee. Okay. I fail at life. I'm... Carry on, comrades. Squee, you just going to hop over this wall? Take the damage? Yep, give, give me my damage. Yep. Gimme, give gimme. Give One. Woohoo! My first point of damage. You fell into this nice little <laughs> elf-shaped face divot. <laughs> this just kind of helps you. Usually make, make somebody twist the ankle, but for you. Uh, and right. I'll stand up, and that's the end of all my movement. <laughs> and I emerge <laughs> from the hole. Ha-ha! Uh, ha I am here! Arles. Unmute, wake up, get back in the game. Emote needs you. The sinners uh, need you. Stab, stab. There's nothing here but a tree. You're, they've left you <laughs> That's just, just his go-to. What? what? Okay, how about, how about move, stab, stab? Well, let's see if you can get there, Shambles. Move. All right. Fall. Come on, st come on Stumbles. Stab, get your way to the stab. healer. I know. It's just, it's just, there's stairs in your future, and there's... <laughs> I don't know. Go for life. that DC 30 jump check. You could clear Squee. You might Five, get that hit in. <laughs> ten. Oh. Ten. Come on, keep moving, man. All right, ten. We're, we're reaching the hour uh, mark. We've passed okay. the hour mark. 20, 15. 15. 20. Hey, that's one move. That's one move. Now he's right. a straight line for 10, the stairs. 15. Do it. 20, we can finish move. this. Five, ten, fifteen, and the and Why? fall forward 20 fall on You're the screen no no it's so mean yeah, everyone's in my way <laughs> wait There's can some... wait is kane an enemy or a friend that's not kane at your feet that's squee okay is he a friend or an enemy kane? Well, you... you have no idea squee. you'd have to fall down to find out or i throw my sword at them oh, oh. well let's see let's go back in time uh the guy ran by no, he got up to the tent and around the corner before he fireballed. You have no idea who this dude is. Well, uh, no, I did do a single electric attack no, on the two elements. Oh, and that's did, right. Yeah, you did. He you did see... not electrocute me, which actually goes mild. Yeah, he did help you against it, and he's got claws out facing the girl menacingly mid-action. Okay. So yeah, I have one. Yeah, he's no, I definitely used a sinner. Uh, yeah, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets a sword in the face. Sorry, <laughs> that's fair. Understand, I might have to retaliate with a fireball. Stop, stop this. Fire. Okay, hey. Charles. Oh my god, what have I done? Go ahead. Hey, he's TPK. Only survivor, Kane. Squee. <laughs> yeah. Squee, Squee goes oh, back. Fire resistant. Mar marries That's the gnome, right. tells the epic story of oh, these guys are morons, and fire resistance goblins <laughs> save the day. So, what? <laughs> that, that was three That was three actions to okay. get to where I am. Okay. Oh, good. So you're done. No sword just yet. No, you can fall. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna come you on. Still you. have the movement to or fall. You could go diagonal. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Can I touch myself? Oh, oh, what? yes. What? 
Oh no, no. <laughs> wait, 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 no. Wait, what? No, you, Can I made, touch myself? You, you still have ten feet of movement left on your third action. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you, you may not fall. Touch yourself. Can, can I can I do fall little... on an angle so you don't fall on Squee? <laughs> can I can I ha just have a little me time? That's all I want to know. <laughs> right next to the old cleric. No, Squee, I think you're gonna get a healing type from above that you weren't expecting. I think Frank's <laughs> gonna get a healing lesson he wasn't expecting. <laughs> That's how the emotes do it, huh? <laughs> oh. All right. I mean, I mean, uh, Air, Air knows uh, what's happening. He's but... saying you can fall over here. Are you gonna go for this or are we done? <laughs> All right, no. No. We'll leave it like that. A hand starts to glow mightily. There we go. Thank you. Kane. Yes. A uh, Aiden, I'm so happy it's your turn for once in my career. <laughs> do something. <laughs> All right. Uh, glowing uh, hand. Uh, we're coming up on round nine. It's better not to go to ten. Uh, I will make an intimidate check. Oh, Jesus Thank Christ. you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's hear it. Uh... And don't say, yeah. hey, what do you think of my nails? <laughs> you see what's behind I, me. I'm just, I'm just going to growl. Uh, 15. Works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. By the bearded balls of... Abdina, Abdina, Every Talden god. Abdina, with his back to you, reacts to the wild beast and restinct, instinctively picks up a sword and chucks it your way. Uh, he's fetching a sword. Round nine. Old man Arif. Save oh, us from wait, ourselves. It, is the Intimidate checking a full round action? Uh, used to be. Does it have the, the extra chevrons in, in the description? I don't see any chevrons. Then no, it is a... In the book description, not on your character sheet. No, I'm, I'm looking. Uh, for Coerce, no. Demoralize, yes. I was trying to Coerce. Because that's the only one that I saw at first, so... Mm. Yeah, that sounds like an out-of-combat thing, then. You know, where you have them at your mercy and you're going, give us information, you know. Okay. Or you well, just walk are, up to them. They are unarmed and surrounded. No, what I'm saying is it'll take him too much time. She's busy Could jumping around, reacting, but he's fighting. He's like, hold still and listen to what I have to say. You know, it's not Yes, I have a piece of candy, little girl. Stand still. <laughs> <laughs> However, demoralize will help. Lots okay. of things if you want to go. Uh, so it's intimidate check against her will DC. Okay. Um. And that's a fail, sorry. Okay. But close. <laughs> All right. Um then two actions, I'm uh I'm gonna try and claw her again. <laughs> Stand down or I'll claw you. Like this. And right, this twenty six. There we go. Okay. Alright. Uh so two D four. Gotta send this link to your CCC crew so they can see that claws are effective. I tried intimidating, then I had to claw. Her. Okay, the first two D four are slashing, the second one is cold. So, seven points slashing, three points of cold. Ten total? Yep. Okay. And then second claws coming out. Ooh. 18 to hit. Don't think that. Okay. And that's you? Yep, that's me. Okay. Um, her turn, because I I missed it. Um, <laughs> twice. Like, yeah, I kind of that. I'm standing here and you guys are just stacking up, right? <laughs> um, which would have changed something. Anyway, um, I would have pulled my short sword, taken a swing, and missed terribly twice. Uh, and that's the last round. This round. Funny enough, Mr. Intimidation doesn't succeed in the Intimidate, but drops me to a surrenderable, scripted hit point level, and she drops her short sword and calls for surrender. I don't want to die. It's not worth the money. Throws down a short sword. I surrender. Puts her hands on her head and just steps back against the wall. You know, puts as much distance between you guys. On? What? Solo. <laughs> Surrendered in the desert with a short sword? Not seeing it, sorry. Who's your family? 
Solo. <laughs> I'm by myself. You Solo. see in a young, you know, 20 something, late 20s, um, athletic, relatively short, a frit woman who obviously had commanded or summoned or had a one off with those afrits, a very beautiful looking crossbow that went flying, pulled a short sword as a last ditch effort, and then, you know, did some really ow screaming clawed against the back kind of thing and just dropped her sword and went, you know, painfully, I surrender. This is not worth this. Combat ends unless we're going to start round. Well, it would have start. It would have finished at the round at, at round eight. Cool. Or cool. Master Arif begins Yo. round nine. Swing better, better. <clears throat> She's around the corner. I didn't hear her. Yeah. Ha! He's just whacking away with <laughs> go dagger of light. <laughs> I'll get her eventually. Yeah. No, I seriously. Know, I, I can't miss. I will heal myself, but I am not attacking her anymore. All right. And we will find out her fate. The questioning or the coup de grace next time, gentlemen, on Arc Lord's Envy, the Pathfinder Society playtest. Dibs on the crossbow. <laughs>